Hi, 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 hi. Hi, how is everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. It's night time for me. I don't have my watch on, so I don't know what time it is, but it's night time. The sun is down. Ah. Now, the topic tonight is... Where is it? What will your next date be like? And with who? Okay, I'm going to try to sniff out if I can figure out who. I make no promises. But I'm going to describe what your next date will be like. And also, if, like, you don't got no date coming along, this might just end up being, like, your, you know, your, you know the, your dream date. I don't know. I might describe a date that you'll really like to do. It might be something like that. Take it how it resonates, like everybody else says, like, you know? So, let me get you something to pick. There's, like, a strange ringing in the house tonight. Oh, I want these ones, I get. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I'm too quick. I'm not good. Wait. I've got two, I'll take both. Thank you. Come on, dry fingers, don't fail me. Okay, oh my, that makes me look at a specific type thing. Okay, I'm coming back. I'm sitting on my hair tonight. Um, oh, God, the threshold, why is this always popping out? Okay, option one. <clears throat> Excuse me, the threshold. Okay. Option two is the healer. Okay. And then option three, the cave. Like, okay, so I want to say people are pretty pessimistic about their love life. Okay. Well, we're not going to go there right now. We're, we're remaining positive. I'm going to find the, oh, I'm going to find the silver lining. I promise the fault line. So yeah, I'm going to do it. So you go to your timestamp while I rub my elbow out and like, you know, some cards. It's gonna be a bruise, you know? Jeez, man. If it can spring, it can be a My goodness, so many cards tonight. I mean, I'm not complaining, even though I got it. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal. Oh, God, way off in the corner. She reaches. Oh, she's got it. She grabbed it. It's the romance deck, okay? We're going to try to get some romance in this 
date. Let's see if I can squeeze a little romance out of it. Make lemonade out of lemons. Not often. I didn't even get to read it. Dang it, I should have read it. Oh, whatever. But yeah, usually I don't get a card slip on those. I was fascinated now. I want to know what's in there. Can't wait till I. Oh, but I won't know which one is which because by then I'm going to forgot like, completely. Mm -mm. Son of a gun. Oh my god. Son of a gun. <laughs> Dead night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Light there. If something's blocking them. I'm trying to poke it. Can it stop them from poking someone? I don't know. Why did I shuffle more? No. Oh wow, and now two cards came out, so I guess that's for a reason I'll take it. Oh, Fisteria. Mysteria lanes. Okay, watch out. Mysteria lanes here. What's the topic? What will your next date be like? And with who? Shit. Oh my, that's interesting then. Oh, come on, man. Gracious, that's a lot of cards. Risk! What? Risk! Learn to grow wherever you're planted. <clears throat> Makes me think of adaptation. Day and night with the night time with the candle. Oh, it's sitting around at night. What's this date? Oh, yeah, I guess you're probably sitting around right now in the dark. <laughs> you're probably in the dark. Maybe some purple lights. Maybe that. But she looks like she's sitting in the purple. Watch her. Okay. Something with the water. So, well, definitely one of these dates is going to end with the passion because we got sit with the dark and the candle. So, the candle lit stuff. Day and night. This is gonna be like one of those days of transition. Like afternoon or I don't know, sun's gonna set sunset. Someone that's gonna be committed. Interesting. I wanna say friend. Yeah. 
a friend, something crossing a fault line. <laughs> oh, God. It should be like a river, a border. What the fuck is that? It's a bear. Oh yeah, we'll use the next cards. And I can't forget the Romans. Oh my goodness. Shit, I wish I knew what time it was. <laughs> yeah, I put it back on. I just I put it to charge and I forgot. Oh, the bear again. Can I fit it? This one I don't mind being over here. But that's the whole place to fall. I beg you. I beg of you. Don't do it. them all over at once. That was actually pretty, pretty good. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna forget. You know I'm gonna forget. Okay, don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, I'm back. Hi. So, option one. This is, hold on. Wait, let me put it, do the title again. Hold on, I forgot it already. What will your next date be like? And if I can, I'm going to try to find out with who. I'm going to give you some descriptions about them. So we got option one, the threshold. Okay. And then option two, the healer. And then for option three, we have the cave. So go ahead and pick your pick. And I'm going to get started on option one. Okay. Okay. Option one. The threshold. Okay. So what's your next gig going to be like and with who? I mean, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's with someone you're in a relationship with. Okay? So it's someone that you're dating or, you know, but a serious, serious relationship. like Or at least, like, someone that you consider, like, to be on the roads to seriousness type of thing. So it's someone that you're, like, already dating. It's not going to be someone brand new. Or maybe it is and it's someone that you used to date. Okay? But this isn't a brand new person. I'm sorry. If, that's, if you didn't want that, then go pick another pile. Maybe I don't know because I don't know what's next. Right? But passion. You might not want to leave. We got passion in the house. Boop, 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 boop. 
Okay, so passion. And it's that pink that I love. My God, that pink. Where's my hair tie? I left it, in the, I left it upstairs. But anyways. Yes, okay. So this is going to inflame your loins, I want to say. Rise up. Okay, At passion. It's going to give you these colors. This person. All right. Something's making me think day and night. So that's like sunset, you know? So you might spend the night after your date. Where are you going? I'm not sure yet. But you might end up spending the night and seeing the sunrise and the sunset with this person. With Kid Cudi, day and night. I don't know. Maybe you like Kid Cudi. That's a really strange song to pop out. This song never pops out. I don't know. Destiny. <gasps> Oh my! So yes, this someone. This is someone. That's what I'm saying. This is someone that you either just recent, whatever. You know who they are, but they're your destiny. My goodness! I'm gonna say a sleeping beauty. Cause she's sleeping and she's really pretty. She's just laying there on the moon. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, yeah. So there's a whole lot of passion. Oh. Hmm. But something is like slowing it down. Like it was like a lot of passion pushed in, but then something blocked it from like really getting in there. You see how all that passion is like not happening, not getting across the border. <laughs> There's some type of, uh, you know what I mean? There's some type of barrier that they have, that the passion can't get through. The animal card. So it's like, it's some really, really, really strong, deep passion. I want to say some real deep shit. All right, but the energy is gaining momentum, so it slowed down. I want to say, I don't know, it, it hit a wall, it's like it hit a wall. And so, what's your date gonna be like? It's gonna start out really passionate, and like I said, you might end up sleeping over and seeing, like, yeah, this is making me think of the morning when the sun's coming up and you got like birds flying around. It seems like it's moist in the air there, so it's like what it looks like the mountains and stuff and a crescent moon this is a waxing moon but whatever. surrender to the divine so yeah on the date you're just gonna go with the flow you're just yeah you're gonna give it you're gonna give in i want to say give in to the passion you're gonna hold off that's what it is you're gonna want to just jump their bones i want to say you're just gonna want to go crazy because of all the horniness, all the passion you're going to feel, all the inflamed and rising up and passion and rise. Jeez, rise twice. Okay, maybe there's, you know, male on male here. Boy, uh, uh, PVPs and penis versus penis going down. Okay, I mean that with love. I feel like I need to say that. Don't get offended. I mean, you're gonna, I don't know what you're doing, right? We got rise twice. I mean, two boners. Get real. All right? Halsey, be kind. Yeah. Something about a risk, though. Yeah. You're not going to know if it's worth the risk. But if you have, that's like part of the wall. But then you're going to, you're just going to, I think, eventually, it's going to gain momentum. And you're just going to, yeah. Yeah. The passion's going to go, I don't know. The date's going to start out like, woo. And then it's going to kind of like go really slow and get a little boring, I want to say. Okay. Where are you going? Nowhere yet. I, I mean, she's in a nice dress, so you might go somewhere nice. Okay. Plan. So, yeah, you guys are going to have a plan. They're gonna, you guys are going to have plans. I just don't know which what, what they are. <sighs> Maybe something with water. Maybe you go to, yeah, because we got the anchor card and the water card. Maybe something with water. Oh, I'm thinking of, like, maybe the beach at night. Oh, that's really pretty. Because that card's making me look like when you, when you lay down at the beach at night and you stare at the sky. It's super nice. You just look at it while you're laying in the sand. Oh, my God. Yeah. So maybe you do something like that. That sounds really nice. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life lessons. Okay. So it's more of the surrender to the divine. Full moon. <laughs> Full moon. You're going to see their butt cheeks. Someone's going to give you the full moon, let me see, okay? Not the quarter moon, not the crescent moon, not the waxing moon. 
But the full moon, you're going to get to see the buns. Everyone's going to get to see the buns. Okay. Bouquet. <laughs> so you might, yeah, they might give you some things. They might give you a gift. They might literally bring you flowers on this date. Because like I said, it's a plan. So it's like you plan the date. So they might bring you some flowers. It's also making me think you might go, you might smoke something with them, smoke some pot with them. It's also thinking that you're going to make me think you're going to have some sex. That's what I'm saying. You're going to have some sex. Someone's going to come off for you. As I said, they're going to, they're going to, yeah, they're going to be very nice. Maybe take you somewhere to eat, I'm going to say. Yeah, somewhere where you have to dress nice. I don't know, there. I don't know, this person might be really tough stuff. I'm going to be tough stuff. This person's looking really tough at me right now. I don't know. Look at him. He's like, I'm tough. I don't know. It's a cute, pretty, really cute, tough bear. And if it's, if it's tough, it's totally cute. Anyways, I like teddy bears. I like bears. Servants. Okay, so yeah, that's maybe going out to dinner. That's what I said. So you might go out to dinner somewhere very nice because she's dressed really nice. It's the enemy card, the faux card. I'm not sure about that yet. You might bump into so. Oh, well, I had to really pick it up to see it, but you might bump into somebody, okay? While you're out with this person on your date, when you're eating. Goodness. For real, virility, right? Shake it up a little. You've got this. So, yeah, I don't know. You're going to have to, what was it? You're going to have to be quick on your toes. You're going to want to avoid that. <laughs> Is your date going to be okay with it? That's what I want to ask. How's your date going to feel about bumping into this? I want to say they're an ex. Okay. How are they going to feel about it? I don't know. This is funny. Oh, you're just going to let it be. But you're going to, it's going to really shake things up. Oh my gosh. But you're going to just be kind. Oh, it's a risk. That's what it is. I think you're going to, you're going to want to go out. I'm being super loud. But you're going to want to go out to go eat. But while you're out, I think you're going to be stressed about bumping into somebody. You're going to feel like it's a high risk. So it's going to have to have a plan. And like, okay, so that's how, that's why your person's like, there, there is no shock value to your person here in the energies. You guys have a plan. It's like you discuss this. Listen, man, I got so. I got, if we want to go eat dinner together, we got to be really careful because I might bump into my ex. And if I bump into my ex, bang, bang, boom, you know, yada, yada, who knows? All right. So we need a plan. So we're going to, you know what I mean? We're just going to have to, you know, what is it when you fly off the cuff of your seat? I can't never remember that expression. But you're going to have to um, improvise. There you go have to be able to improvise so does it actually happen on the date i have no freaking clue but if it does i don't see nothing about it yet oh we got to got the tarot cards but no i don't i don't know i think that plan i think it just gets discussed i don't know if it actually happens but you're <laughs> it's funny. oh goodness but um yeah they're gonna offer you some some cups some cup action i want to say and you're gonna offer it back too Mm -hmm. You guys might drink a little something, not a lot, definitely not a lot, because if I look at what she's holding on her tray, it's just a tiny, it's one of them little baby champagne bottles, okay, it's like, this is like, I don't even know, that's like the size of a baby Red Bull, it's like, what, that's a, like 300 ml, like, it's not that big, 250 even, I think, anyways, so it's like, there might be a little bit of celebrating involved here, okay, so I said, raising a toast, so that might happen at the house because it looks like she's at home there, not at a restaurant. But, um, yeah, so you guys go out you, and then you come back and then you have a, a drink or something like this, maybe. Not a lot. And then I'm guessing that's when the romance, the passion takes place. I don't know if the passion takes place, actually. I want to say you definitely spend the night. Glamour. She's fully dressed, though. Hold on. Oh, we got the devil in reverse. But hold on. So this is the glamour card. But you see what she's wearing? She's, like, wearing full body armor. <laughs> she's wearing, like, a full covered PJ. With prosperity behind it. So underneath that PJ, she's hella fucking sexy. 
So whoever's wearing some some uh, baggy PJs or whatever, they're hella cute under them PJs. But we got the devil in reverse. That's with the passion card. But there's something that puts a halt to it. It okay? Something may stop. Oh god! But man, the feelings mutual. I want to say, renew. Yeah. Oh man, you guys both make each other feel real. Mm -hmm. Longevity. Y'all could. Mm, I feel like y'all could go all night long. Like, I don't know if you do. The devil's in reverse, so it's like, my feeling's there. But there's also that threshold. Someone's got to cross that line. Someone's got to make the first move, okay? That's what's got to go down here. And what's going to happen here? What do we got? The hermit? We're looking at the hermit here. What the actual fuckery? The hermit on a date? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm getting, okay. So, yeah. Something about the ex, the faux card. So they may or may not, yeah. I think that the ex does see you. Some of you, the ex does see you. I don't know if they actually talk to you, but they just like see you and then they like blow their candle out. They're like, forget it, it's over. Because <sighs> they see you with someone new. Okay. But my guess is that this is that in the background that's. That's you with your new date. Not necessarily, literally. I mean, maybe if y'all are frisky enough, you might do it in the park on a blanket. Like, maybe have a picnic. What is this? The Knight of Swords, okay? So, yeah. Not, uh, the Knight? Yeah, fast communications, I want to say. Lots of talking. I want to say lots of talking about sex. Okay, because the devil was in reverse. So it's like, there's a lot of talking. It's, like, it's there, but it ain't happening. So lots and lots and lots of talking about. I guess y'all get the talking. Where? Maybe during dinner, dare I say. But at some point, y'all get the talking about sex, okay? Y'all talk about everything that you want to that's in there. It's everything that's under the sun that you want to talk about with them. And y'all realize that your sex, what would I say? Your sex lives, your sex sexual preferences, your sex styles, your love language. There you go, your love languages. You realize your love languages work. And it's like, you want to, you know what I mean? Like, you see some nice commitment with this person. If this is like someone that you'd want to commit with. And like I said, it's a threshold. Passion is right after. Okay? So it's very passionate. Okay? But do you actually do it? I mean, so far, no, I haven't had any sex cards yet. Had it off in the, in the distance. So very few of you actually definitely do it. But um, let's see. I guess after, let's see. Yeah, no, it's like you want to, yeah, someone makes a move. I don't know who. Definitely someone makes a move. Okay. But after, yeah, they, okay, well, they definitely take, see, or definitely get the top off, for sure. Because in here, in this card, in this card, I can't ever tell if she's got some panties on. It kind of looks like it, like, come on. So, and he's not naked. What they're doing is part of their discussion. So, it's like, some of y'all might be disgusted. As I said, you're going to discuss anywhere between toys whether or not you like them, like they're just you guys are just gonna have a really open conversation about sex. You're gonna discuss all different types of things. Not what you're in. This is, doesn't mean that this is what they're into. This is just things that they might ask you about, maybe because they maybe they are into them or maybe they're they're not into them and they just want to talk about it. this one. Know what you're into, so they want to know if they can match with you. So I think y'all are gonna have a great like conversation about that. It's gonna make y'all want to just. Like, you know, I want to say throw caution to win and have some really nice, fun sex. Very fun. All right. And king of Cups. Yeah, so this person's going to be a King of Cups energy. They're going to want to take care of you. Let's see. And he's holding that cup. And it's got a rose in it. That's really, really sweet. Okay. He's going to really like your breasts. He's definitely going to get to see your breasts. 
because she's topless there, she's topless there, there. She's, top, she's about to be topless here. And she's about, she is top. Her nipples are hanging out. Hanging out, literally, like her shirt's falling off. So, yeah. Oh, and he's going to see the buns. They're definitely going to give pull out some buns. Like I said, the full moon. Some buns are happening. Yeah, there is buns there, too. Definitely some buns. Feminine buns. You know what I mean? That's mostly what I see. I don't see no male parts. Except for a bit of chest. Some tummy, you know, men don't seem to be pulling nothing out yet. Okay, but now that he's, now that we've touched the buns, now that the bun show has arrived, okay, here's the bun show. Oh, there it is. Okay, the four of wands, one of the, one of the best cards to get in a sexy, sex, sex reading. So yeah, y'all definitely, I want to say y'all get to (laughs) explore all the passion, okay? Yes, okay. I'm hearing that part of that Drake song about making the bra straps pop. Okay, something like that. Okay, they really like those buns. And they want it. Okay, I'm not going into the details, but y'all definitely get it on. And it's some of, it's going to say, I'm going to say, it's going to be some of the best sex you've ever had. Once y'all cross the whatever line that is. Yeah, once y'all, you know, let go of your innocence, so to speak. Because I have a feeling you guys are just really, really innocent. Maybe you all been hurt before. The, judging by what conversation takes place right here between y'all. Okay. Y'all talk about everything in between, even the ex. You talk about everything. All right. Yeah. It's just someone in the end of the day, this is someone that just you just bump into. And it's saying that if you haven't, uh, if you... Uh, when you do, or whoever this is, you guys just got to be very honest with them, because this person's extremely honest. She's completely naked and honest and innocent. So if that, if you resonate with that, that's exactly how this person is too. Okay, that's I guess that's why that passion is gonna be. I guess that's why you guys are gonna even have to be able to have that conversation, and because y'all can have a conversation like that, I have a feeling you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god. So okay, let's go do those things. Okay, so I have a feeling that's really sweet with judgment. So yeah. That's really a good. So, what do you do? I guess you go out to dinner, you come back, and you have you have some nice, really passionate sex, and maybe have a couple of drinks. If anything, you have like like on a, like on Big Bang Theory, and Sheldon would say you need to have yourself a hot beverage, but you definitely get, get together and have some fun, and then have some fun in at night in the bed. So that's hot. I like it. Right. Okay. Option two, the healer. Okay. Okay. So your next date. This is making me think of a sunrise. Okay. So it's like, you're going to definitely, I want to say stay the night. Are you gonna stay the night? Yeah, candles lit. We got okay, so we got a lot of candles, and we got the lots of color candle colors going on. All right, so somebody def okay. So you, I this is sounding like someone's come like your date is gonna be at not going out somewhere. It's gonna be in your home, okay, or in someone's home. It's gonna be in a home. Like, you're at their house or they're at yours. And it's like, because the question is, are you going to stay the night? Like, they stayed over. And it's late. And they're like, do you want to stay the night? You know? Meditate and contemplate. It's going to be a very relaxing scene. That's what I'm saying. I'm picturing being at home, lighting some candles. I haven't got any food or nothing. So I don't know about eating. I don't know what kind of activities you're like doing. Maybe watching movies. Okay. I want to say maybe gossiping because we got a three-headed snake there. It's not very, you know what I mean? That's kind of, but it's the healer card. So it's like, maybe it's positive gossiping. So it's there. Positive gossiping is venting. So you might be venting with this person. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all, it ain't, it ain't, it don't even, it's going to be something that doesn't feel like a date. You're not going to be dressed up for it. You're not going to be trying to look pretty for it. 
it's just going to be like people like like a friend date i guess is what i want to say like no it's going to be that's the thing it's a date but it's going to be with someone that you don't you know what I mean? Because it's at home. You're not going to really get all glamored up for it. There we go. And then this song, Yellow Card, Only One. So this is someone that really, really, really likes you. They might have a super loud voice. That song is so loud. They scream. All right. Oh, good Lord, it happened. It finally happened, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Rick Ross Akon Cross That Line song. With the Fault Line song. This song always makes me think of that song, okay? So I don't know what line you're crossing. The animal, all right? So you're about to cross the line into something I want to say that, that uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to cross the line with something. I was going to say age. There might be an age difference. Someone might be older, okay? But if they are, we got glamour. They're really fucking good looking, all right? Then we got birds. Yeah, people freaking can't stop talking about the appearance of this person. This is a, See, this is my bird, birds cards is gossip. And this specific bird card is about how Pow, how awesome and beautiful and attractive and, you know what I mean? How pretty their feathers are, so to speak. Everyone's looking at that bird. It's the seven of pinnacles. So it's like, it's something you have to work towards. You have to gain this person's attention, I dare say. This is someone that you have to gain their attention, but they get a lot of attention from others. They hide that, though. I don't think they like the attention, I want to say. And she looks like she's trying to hide. Look at her. Oh, because she's not safe. Oh, we got, yeah. Because then we got faithfulness. It's the puppy. But it's upside down. So there's like some type of, they're not secure about something. They don't feel safe enough to be out there like that, I want to say. I don't know. They ain't worried about, they ain't look. I guess they're not, I don't know. They're not trying to literally, I don't know. They're not. They don't have anyone. They're definitely single. Okay. They're looking for someone like that. Like they're looking for a committed person. They're looking for someone to be like that loyal, committed partner of theirs. All right. And they don't need money. They have their own money. They're just waiting until they find someone that's loyal and reliable and, com and a good companion. And tough stuff, like the bear. Yeah, they're trying to just find someone that's, that's their own, that's got their own shit, I want to say. Like this, that is their own person. So this person's a very, um, I want to say independent. And they're looking for someone that's basically kind of like like that. Like, But they're, 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 they're looking for someone that could be loyal and faithful and you know, like a good companion. But they don't got that. So I'm thinking that maybe you are that. This is sounding like maybe a friend crossing the line with friends or something like this um and yeah you know what i mean then we got the mountain so oh there's a blockage i don't know tree of life so it's destiny destiny put the blockage divine timing i guess it's meant to be not meant to be i don't know the light so darkness so, it's going to be dark in there. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to turn the lights off. You're going to light some candles. And you're going to do something. I don't know what you're going to do yet. I want to say you watch some TV because we got Wisteria over here. A lot of TV, okay? But you're going to pick out stuff. Maybe a marathon. You're going to might do like a movie marathon or something. You know? Sock. Slow down. The pace must abate before it's too late. So... I feel like y'all are going to just watch TV all night and and things like that in a very cozy environment. Oh, my God. That lady is completely covered. And then that bird is, like, got their wings out, and they're super pretty. 
So it's, and like I said, they cover there too. So this person doesn't like attention, but underneath their clothes is something super exciting. I would say super colorful, something that, that they want to show you that they have something under their, that they have something under their dress. I want to say this person might wear a green dress. Like literally both these women are wearing a green dress. Okay. This is coming in real quick out of nowhere because of these two cards combined together with this green dress. Some of you might be in talks with somebody and they might be trying to trick you. They're either lying and saying they're young when they're really old or they're old and they're saying they're young. Or no, or they're lying and saying they're old but they're really actually young. It's one of the two. You might you might be dealing with that. So that's only if you're if you if you're dealing with someone, I don't know. But they they're saying basically I don't know. One of them is, 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 you know what I mean? Like someone is catfishing you and they're not, they're not, they're, they're not what they say they are basically. End of story. If they're saying they're this, they're really that. If they're saying they're that, they're really this, whatever the hell that means to you. That can even be from genders, like, uh, not genders, but private parts, you know, it could be a, a man, um, saying they're, you know what I mean? A catfish scene. That's what I'm saying. It could be a catfish. But what I want to say about it is that if you're, if you're dealing with two people, oh God, there's that, that third thing, whoosh, is in here. So yeah, if you're someone who's dealing, who's, who's okay, who's got three people, I mean two people, because I'm, I'm picturing all three of y'all, because I'm like looking at y'all's situation. I'm not in it, you know? So yeah, if you got two people, it's saying basically the person that's younger, or the person that states to be younger, or be, pretends to be younger, or says they're younger, whatever. The person that's younger is a foe. The person that's older, okay. I want to say they're not even that old because of this smoking body this bird has. Not literally, but look how pretty those feathers are. Look how, wow, that is. And it came out right underneath the old lady card. So it's like, it might be an old lady, but it's like, take that dress off. It's like, and they both got the same dress. So that's what makes me think like there's some type of like twinning almost like someone's old and someone's young, but the older one is like got a smoking body under there. Like, my goodness, they hide that for good reason. You hide that. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Okay. They make, that's, a, there's, it is, she's a sexual healer. That's what it is. Or, well, not necessarily a she. Well, I'm looking at it because she's an older woman here in the card. But whoever this person is that's got a smoking body underneath their clothes that they hide away, they're a sexual healer. That's why you're trying to get to them. They are like that tree of life that's on top of a mountain, basically. They're like, they're, they're like you know what I mean? The tree of life is supposedly on top of a mountain anyways, ain't it? Ain't it? I don't know. But... So yeah, that's what that is. You want to get to there so that you could, yeah, with Pisces. That's like with Pisces and the, the story about how it's like the two fishies are really actually mom and son or something like that. And they swim together. So it's like older woman stuff, healing, like, a, you know what I mean? A coming home and getting some sexual healing, okay? It says, look to the space between the trees for ants. Why would it do that? Oh, is it still working? I don't know. We might have disconnected. It does a completely dropped signal, and it never does that. So that's interesting. So anyways, look to the space between the trees for answers. Okay? So it's saying to calm down and, and relax. So my guess is maybe that's, yeah, peace. This person's really relaxed and peaceful. Yeah. I don't know what's off on the side there with the anchor, and it's it's a dead weight. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. There's a younger person involved here for some of you. And they're a dead weight. I don't know. It might be someone that you go on a date with. Maybe you're going on a date with two different people. Maybe you're dating multiple people. There's nothing wrong with dating with multiple people. It's not like you're in a relationship with these people. Unless you're in a relationship with people. You know what I mean? Stepping out on people is no good in my opinion. That's why my opinion. Leave my opinion out. And take my opinions out of it. But still. Yeah. Or it even could be um, when they were younger, you might have thought they were, maybe they were someone from your past that, yeah, maybe there was someone from your past that was very in the dark, like you didn't really know much about them and you thought they were 
a bad person. And now that everybody's older, you know, I mean, you see that there's been some type of maybe a transformation or you just see that they're nothing like you thought they were because you always viewed them in a, in the dark. You never got to see them in the light, in the light. So now that you see them in the light, I guess you get to see exactly who they are. You know, that's it. Nope. Where are you going on this date? Like I said, you stay at home. I want to say you take the clothes off because you get to see the sexy bird underneath. You get to see the pretty, pretty feathers. People get to take them. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Okay, we got the hanged man. So teasing, lots of teasing. Oh, good Lord. Y'all are just going to be doing, hanging around, doing nothing on the couch, I want to say. Watching, watching a movie, sitting on a chair. Okay. I can't see the picture. with. It's the five of wands. So, yeah, like I said, there might be someone else that's going to be completely jealous and want to try to stop this. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to happen. I don't know. It's in the reverse. But they're going to try to. Or there's going to be a feeling of that. I don't know. I, I They go from... It goes from just, you know, some teasing and flirting, like, oh, my God. Not just, I mean, she's definitely fully naked. But to being, like, you know, doing it. Okay? So I might catch you doing it, I want to say. Okay? Two of Pentacles. So deciding. So it's like, yeah, you're going to do it. It's going to be like a big tease climax up to it, and it's going to happen. We know this now. But how does it happen? Something with you might uh, cook some things, get something like I said, some smoke, and uh, you might eat cookies. Dare I say, these pinnacles in this deck always make me think of sugar cookies. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you literally might do that, like eventually, like looking out the window, you know, what I mean, looking at the space between the trees. So it's like you might actually look out the window and. I want to say get a blow job while looking out the window, okay? That's for, you know, people with ding-dongs. But anyone else, if it's a woman, he's going to want to, like, come up behind you and give you kisses, I want to say, like, on your neck and stuff. Hold on, I got more than one card here. It's a... Uh, it was like this. So, yeah, it was... It's the emperor and temperance in reverse. So, yeah... We're not going to be able to hold out. We got the emperor. He's going to, it's going to drive him freaking crazy. He's going to be thinking about coming and touching on you, you know, like, well, so like if y'all are just sitting on the couch, the masculine yeah, is going to want to massage you and take your clothes off and touch you. Mm -hmm. Definitely massage you. And he's going to have like, he's going to want like one hand on his crotch and one hand on you like type of jazz. Okay piece they got the candle extra large so the some of you they might have an extra large johnson all right because look it's the candle and it says it's, it's a candle and it says extra large on it okay and temperance in reverse so they're not going to be able to hold out they're not going to be able to they're not going to be able to sit there and be teased okay you're okay the mountain underneath the I mean, no no they're not going to be able to do it <laughs> Uh, something tells me you're the only one that does this because we got the only one card and we got the extra large boner. And I think you're the only one that gives them an extra large boner. Because I've heard before on TV and stuff, someone would be like, oh my God, I got a really hard boner right now. Like, like, so it's like boners, you know, boners are on spectrums. Some days they're not as large as those some days. Same dick, different day, literally. Okay. A wish come true. Okay. Something about it being in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Something about pouring, like, with the stars and the wish. But in reverse. Is my deck in reverse? Oh, my deck is in reverse. This is making more sense because it literally wasn't adding up. Let me see. What does the reverse mean, though? Because everything is for a reason. So, okay, yeah, with the five of wands under, above it, 
it's saying that you're worried that something is stopping you, preventing you from being able to, I guess, come over and do this with them and go on this date. You see this person as a wish fulfillment, as a dream come true. They might be a little eccentric, I want to say, yeah. Because, yeah, and the, I don't know. They might want to pull out lotion. I don't know, lotions, lubes. We had massaging. So something about being really, really wet. They might want to sit on your chest. I want to say sit on your chest, sit on your face, sit on your tummy. I don't know. This is things that they're thinking because it was in reverse. But this is like their wishes, all right? So you're going to want to make the wishes come true. And it looks like you're going to because they're doing it over there on that top card. They're actually laid out doing the damn thing. Okay, longevity, so they go for a long time, Hierophant, okay, after the two of pinnacles, so making a decision to take off those clothes, I want to say, and whip out that dingling, because that's what happens next, it's like, creeps up on her, not like that type of creep, but he rolls up on her, you know, and then, you know, because he's got an extra large boner, Okay, it's super great. He loves it. He's like, this is, I can't believe it's happening. And he is like, I got to marry this person because they give me an extra large powder. <laughs> Not literally, but they give him one hell of a heart on. Right. So ten of cups. That's what it is. It's something about going. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, if there was, this is for the people that if there was a second person involved, that person was, like, trying to lure them away from you, I want to say. Maybe that's what the blockage was. There was someone that was trying to lure the, the person you're going on a date with. They were trying to distract them from you. But now he... He's got his eyes on your honey pot, I want to say. Not he, but this person's got their eyes on the honey pot. They see the honey pot, you know? This is him. This is them. It's like a bright light goes off. Okay? And, you know what I mean? Maybe someone, I don't know, they, they, they see the bulge maybe. I don't know. They see hard nipples. They see something. And they go for it. Like you see how he's looking dead at the honey pot over there. It's a big golden honey pot. He doesn't care what's what's trying to lure him away from it. He's going for the golden honey pot. That's the only one he wants to go to. And yeah, waters, a lot of wet. All right. Empress. Because she's the empress. We got the empress with the emperor. Come on now. That is the only one. That's the only one for you. So that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, something about their nipples. You definitely really like their nipples. You like their breasts, I want to say. But, um... Because you can see her nipples through her, sh her dress. They're, like, poking there. So you might not actually see this person's nipples, or maybe you never have, but you've seen, like, their nipples hard through a T-shirt or something like that. And, woo, you want to see what they look like without it? I don't know. So that's what I'm. That's what's coming through. Because then the Empress here, she's got her boobies out there like that. So you might have seen her with some cleavage, like a, you know what I mean, something like that. I don't know. But the shield. So they've been through things, and you got the shield there too. So you've been through things. So I feel like y'all can find peace with each other, like really big peace, big bright happiness. Okay. Day and night. So it's like I feel like y'all can spend day and night together. Y'all get along, y'all get along, y'all will get along that great, you know? And it's going to be sex, it's going to be healing, it's going to be good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're saying it's time to release that person that's negative in your life. Some They're being unfaithful to you some way. So if it's a friend, they're not, they're doing something behind your back that's not nice. They're saying that, I don't know. But you're the bear, so it's like you're putting up with it, I want to say. But we got lilies, and it's in reverse. Oh, oh God, it's a king of swords. In reverse, okay, the song is even, the song Lily is even like about a narcissistic cycle. So it's like this person's 
That person's nasty. All right. So they're saying it's time to get away from that and move to something that is more looking for something like that. An empress, your match, because this is you. So you're either the emperor or you're the empress here, whichever one you resonate with. But you're here, you're on the table, and your match is here too. So whoever your next date is, it's going to be someone that's like you're, you're I want to say like you, you, the one, the only one that's good for you. You know, that's really beautiful. I liked this reading. Okay, it's longevity. I feel like, yeah, a commitment, like something really nice, glamour. It's going to be like, it's going to make you feel very, you're going to love it. But yeah, that's only going to happen though. What would I say? Yeah, I guess by releasing something negative in your life and moving away from it at the very least. I don't know. That's probably the blockage. I say a negative person. So, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye. And have a good night. Okay. All right. Option three. The cave. Okay. So something tells me you don't got a date. You don't got no dates planned and you don't plan on having no dates planned. Almost like... Uh, you're staying home, you're in your PJs often, like you only go out what you need to day and night, you're home all the dang time, you know, longevity, it's, you're like, forget dating, it's too risky, ten of wands, is too much, too much burden, <laughs> water, it's too much emotions, people are too emotional, people are always fake, okay, okay, people ain't never loyal, okay, people are always after my money, <laughs> I am waiting, okay? But no matter how long I wait, I can't find anyone but bad people. People trying to get me. All right. Tough stuff, bear. There's a bear card over here. So don't worry. You're tough, all right? Study in reverse. You've been studying, but soon you're going to want to stop studying. I guess you're going to get tired of studying. But, um,. Anchor, yeah, you're going to want to stop studying soon. Fertility. I, dare I say you're going to get the urge to want to have, I want to say, personal contact. All right? Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. So you have a dream that you're committed to. It has something to do with your confidence. You've been building up your confidence, I want to say. I'm picturing like someone looking in the mirror like, you know. But this is improving your beauty, I want to say. This is making you feel more beautiful to you, you know, So, which is showing. Because then after that, we have the Taurus card, and it's like that's like being all, you know, balanced and pretty. And the dreams need a practical plan. So there's some type of dream that you have with the anchor, something, I don't know, well, hibernation. So it's like you've been hibernating on it, like you've been holding, you know what I mean? You've been trying to figure out a practical plan, something with a risk, though. You feel like there's a risk involved. Oh, this is the one with all those cards. Okay, so this is Eminem and Rihanna. Love the way you lie. Ugh, I that song. Love the way you lie. So this is like, I don't know, with that faux card over there. I don't know what's going on with that. Temperance. Yeah. So, okay, maybe you're around some, okay, maybe you're not going to be dating because you're, you're living in a toxic environment where there's lots of arguing going down and you mostly just study and focus on trying to be, you know what I mean? Be happy, I want to say. But you have a dream. And um, temperance card. It's saying, and yeah, like, quietly. You got something quietly brewing in the back that gives you, makes you feel good. It makes you feel pretty. There's something that you keep secret that you do that makes you feel good. Like, I don't know, it makes you confident somehow. You do a little something, something with yourself. Maybe say an affirmation. Maybe do some squats. You know, I don't know. Okay, for me, I go boy. That makes me feel really pretty. 
I love to go poi. So it's just it's something like that. Something that you go do that nobody else really messes with. Like it's just you. And it this is it's it's good though. It's good for you. Okay. And studying is good for you too, but don't burn yourself out. Okay. Are you going on a date? I don't think so. I feel like you're just gonna stay home. Silence, Belladonna. Yeah, you might stay home. Belladonna. Okay, you might actually stay home and get high on some on some stuff. I wanna say. Okay. And you're gonna get real quiet. Like yeah, you might get real stoned, all right. Sunflower. Rise up, stand true, stronger and true assertiveness. Okay, so underneath fertility, after I've done romanced myself just now, okay, I done read a little book, okay, I done looked in the mirror and brushed my hair maybe, and got myself feeling all pretty, and then I was like, what do I want to do with my nitrates? need to pack a plan, what do I want to do, I don't know, so let me just go ahead and touch myself <laughs> i don't know so temperance though so i don't know maybe go watch some tv silence and then i go to bed and it's like listen more and be quiet assertiveness rise up that makes me think of a boner so it's like now i done like i, I don't know now, now we're just gonna end the night with some with some uh self-love i want to say with some, <laughs> like literally that's what just happened here all right so that's what might be your date who's your date with i want to say it's with yourself my next date is with me. Right. Origins, yes, with your roots. Okay. Because I feel like, yeah, I mean, and if you're not in a bad toxic environment, it's because you come from something that was very extremely toxic like that. And you're like, too risky. I ain't dating for a long, long time. Okay, because we got that song plus risk. Okay, and after that longevity, okay, wisteria, that's like amnesia, so it's like getting hit in the head and stuff, like, no, hey, water, hell of emotional, too much, yeah, no, you'd rather be alone with your books and working on yourself, beauty, and doing your own damn thing, okay, you rise your own, <laughs> okay, you can put your own boat, messages, so yeah, you might, you might just start, like, yeah, having, I want to say, I mean, you might send out flirty texts, okay? Garden, yeah, something with the community. So you might actually sit there and talk like in a chat room, something like this, or just talk to one person specifically. It's kind of like third party, so it might even be like some, hey, can you tell someone something for me? Mm, cutting it out. Something, cutting something out. I don't know. It looks like, okay, that makes me think of some some type of public breakup. So maybe you just, maybe that's why, yeah, maybe you had a public breakup with someone that was really nasty, like I said, a king of swords in reverse, right? But you're like, oh, tough bear, you know? So, yeah, you just recently got rid of something like that. But the whole community seems to be getting the news about it, I want to say. Everybody seems to be getting the news. Everyone seems to be knowing about this. You're just sitting in your cave. I don't think you know this. Okay, what? Okay, mystic star. Harmony in the home and great friendships. So, yeah, that's what you're doing. You're grounding yourself. You're learning how to love you again underneath the Taurus. So this is all about, like, self-love. Right? They're real big on that shit, I think. That's what I've heard. That's what I've always noticed. Okay? They know it. So, so it's like you're getting back into that. You're doing self-love shit. You might be taking walks in the community, you know? You might go cut your grass, like literally. I don't know why we're talking about what you might be doing. This is like a date with you, so this might be like a whole day. This might be like a Saturday. My date starts Saturday morning. Who knows? But then Mystic Star, so it's like, yeah, you're staying home and you're focusing on friendships. So these messages is like friendships, like community. As I was saying, they, they, I said they could be sexy because they're just trying to have a date here, but they might just be literally just... Um, Regular old relation, regular old friendships, like communities. So it's groups and all your different friends that you know. When it, what are you guys going to talk about? You might be talking about some type of split, some type of uh, breakup. Patience. Everything can be accomplished at nature's pace. Oh. 
Yeah, you're in no rush to date. That's what I want to say. Not after what you've been through, if that's the case, or what you're having to deal with. Reconnect. So there's some something, yeah, there's some type of connection going on. There is some type of talking with someone. But it's in reverse. So it's not like it's not like hot and steamy. I mean, it can be. Secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods. So it's like there's some type of, yeah, with the community card. Yeah, there's some type of secrets. I don't know. But maybe this relationship is a secret and you have someone that you talk to about it. And you don't really talk to anybody else about it. So you might talk to that person during your date. <laughs> I want to call it during your solo date. Clearing, make room for growth. You're going to clean on your date. All right? You're going to maybe take a nice bath, take a shower, wash your hair. You can do something, clean up your house, mop your floor, whatever. Do your laundry. Who knows? And growth. What's it going to give you? It's going to make you feel good. It's going to bring you glamour. It's going to bring you growth. All right? It's going to make you feel good. The tallest oak tree once started as a seedling. Don't be afraid to start something new. So that's what I'm, that, okay, there was a whiff, okay? A whiff, because of fertility and uh, glamour, okay? And messages. Hey, Bella, daughter. Oh, excuse me. There's a whiff of, of some of you. Okay, a very small percent of you, like less than 10, like 10% maybe. I don't know. Very small, okay? Because the whiff is small. Okay? It's saying that you're someone's, the, uh, there's a person, like the ones that resonate with a person that you talk to, like someone that you work, that you talk to about the things you went through, things like that. The person that you, per, a person that you share your, your personal information about. It, it, it's saying that don't be afraid to start something new with them. Like, I guess it's saying they're a good person. So, judgment in reverse. Is my deck in reverse? It is in reverse. Let me flip that. So, judgment. Yeah, you're just waiting until the timing is right. You're waiting until it finds you. You're waiting for destiny to bring you a date. You're not dating. <laughs> so, I don't think you're going to be going on a date anytime soon. Okay, a wish. You have a wish. You're like, I know who I'm going to date. So then what the hell? I don't know. You have a wish. Someone's a wish fulfillment. And I feel like that's who you want to date. But you don't know when that's ever going to happen. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. You don't know when you're going to get to approach them. But my God, you think they're gorgeous. You th yeah, fertility. There's a, there's a drive there. There's a sex. There's a sex drive there for them. All right. There's going to be a, hmm, something about a green dress. Everybody's wearing green dresses in this one and in this one. They're going to be very innocent. So, yeah, this person that you speak to, if you're, if maybe you were trying to, maybe you wanted me to help you identify who. Who is it that I talk to in my community of friends, my group of friends that, 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 that I might, you know, possibly have some, you know, uh -huh going on with. It's going to be someone that's very innocent, very truthful. You're going to like, they're going to, you're going to be just walking along and then you're going to run into them. All right. They're going to be on your path. It's not going to be someone that you've approached, if that makes sense. Like, you're not going to, yeah, you're not going to see them and then actually go and talk to them. And then you go on a date. It's going to be someone that you know from your community that extends to you. Like not no, they. I mean, they're shy too, a little shy. But it and they're wa They're in the water, so they're very watery. They might be a water sign. Works with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. So this person's like a healer. They're a good person. They're really sweet. That's why they're in the water. So they're in like a healing state. So they're kind of like you. You guys are your your paths are just gonna bump into each other. Maybe you guys have been through this. I'm going to say maybe you guys have been through the same things, like some type of tumultuous type of living situation or relationship that you were living in with. I don't know, but that's what, you know, I mean, the justice I've under, under judgment. So, okay, this is definitely, yeah, this person that you're talking to, all right, it's this card and this card, three of the, a bunch of these cards came out in, 
in the, I think like almost all four of these cards came out in the last pile, literally. So maybe you should watch the last pile. But um, justice. So something about delivering some justice underneath the judgment card. So you're going to get some type of news about some some type of ruling. Something was, okay, you're going to get some type of news delivered to you, maybe about a separation with this person. So this person might be a friend of yours. So you're not planning on dating no one. You're like, I ain't dating, I'm all alone, I'm doing my thing, right? I ain't saying you in a, a shiesty mood about it or anything. I'm saying you're chilling, right? You don't date for your own reasons. I got the wrist card here, and I got this really shitty song here. Not the song, not that the song is shitty, but the video is terrible. It's got Megan Fox in it, I think. Anyways, yeah. So it's like, um, yeah, we're not talking about that. But you get news of this of this happening, I think, with someone. And that, you know what I mean? That they're, that they're separating, I want to say. And then the wish is that you go to, to meet them. And it's not just through an, yeah, almost like I want to say an online community. Somewhere online or through the grapevine neighborhoods, I don't know, coming over. So y'all don't live next to each other or near each other. There's You got to get in a car or walk somewhere. I mean, the houses have been separated, so it could be anywhere. It, and it could be extreme distances too, because I'm sensing internet. So it could be anyone that's at a distance. We got fault line over there. So that's making me think of like a crossing borders. So they could be in a different state or a different country. I don't think they're across the water because the fault line is dry. So they're not across the seas. They're in your they're on your continent at least. I don't know. Where in the world is she's on your continent right now. She's in your continent. That's what I want to say. Am I a hundred percent sure on that? Don't take my word on it. It's just for fun. But basically you're gonna get news about something that's gonna balance out some scales and it's gonna make you yeah, you're gonna have to spend some money. All right, some hard-earned money, I want to say, but it's going to be worth the worth the money because you guys are going to have such great sex together when you do go together. So this is the date, all right? You might not think you're going to have a date, but one day you will, and you guys are going to really, really, really weigh yourselves out, okay? You guys are going to very much enjoy it. Yeah, you're going to do it so long the candles are going to burn out. Oh, come on now. And then the Ten of Wands. Okay? You're going to do it multiple times. You're going to do it everywhere. I want to say you're going to do all sorts of different ways. But it's when when you, whenever you get some type of news, and this news is going to make you want to charge in, I want to say. Oh, fuck, the Sun card then. Yeah. You're going to get some type of truth revealed to you. And it's going to change it. I want to say it's going to change everything. And you're just going to want to, you're going to really want to pursue this person and make this happen. Okay. And be with them and come out your cave. Look, it's like right outside your cave is something beautiful, I want to say. And it's, and check it out. I mean, I think that's even the same girl. So it's definitely whoever you randomly bumped into along your road. Y'all might not even have noticed each other, but this person was an extremely honest person and you liked them. Like, what's not to like about them? And then you guys end up together in the end, at the very end of the journey. You know? And oh man, oh man. Yeah, they want you to pick them up and this, this, this right here, this specific position is a want for this person, okay? And also, yeah, just get just as much as we can, they say, as many times as we can. Is is if it's wet or if it's hard, we should be doing it. It's been, we should be doing it. We should have been, been doing it for a long time is what they're saying. We need to, something about making up for lost time. So this person, yeah. 
Oh, the Ace of Wands. That's what I'm saying. With temperance again. And again? No, this isn't temperance. It's judgment. So yeah, with temperance. Another pile had temperance. But yeah, so it's like Ace of Wands, man. Like coming and delivering it. This is going to be for fertility. It's going to be someone that you're going to want to make a home with because with Taurus next to it. So does it, are you going to be with Bear? So lots of, you know, like a really strong family situation. So you might make babies together with this person. They might end up being someone you marry type of thing. But at the very least, it's just someone that you're going to want to move in with and like maybe make a relationship with. Okay. And yeah. That's the naked truth. Of, I mean, shit. Okay? So that's what I'm saying. Maybe the sex you guys have is you have so much sex. Maybe you end up actually having getting pregnant. Temperance. Maybe you have to deal, maybe, because there might be some drinking involved. Okay? Okay? Or I don't know. So make sure you watch out if you're not trying to get pregnant. Make sure you watch out because it's definitely say, look, that's the pregnant Ace of Wands. are saying that after someone done pulled it out and whipped it out, and after the action Jackson has gone down, all right, when this, after the sun has shined, there's a baby in her tummy. There's a bun in her oven. So this is someone that you're either going to end up putting a bun in the oven with, like a, a bun will be, you know, a baby's in the precipice with this relationship if it's something that you want. If, any, if anything, that you guys are just going to create a beautiful life together. So that's a really cool date, I guess. I hope you enjoyed, and you have a good night. Bye.